Hello, this is producer Johnny F. Um, today I'm going to talk about Apple Loops and the Media Browser. Now, um, the Media Browser is really useful. It has some great musical elements and percussive elements to use in your tracks. And it's copyright free. It's there to be used. Um, now, when you look at the, the files, you'll see down the side it has key. Now, this is the key the audio or MIDI has been either programmed or recorded in. So it tells you there. Now, um, you'll see at the top of the project here, of the arrangement window, um, there's a thing that says key, it says A minor. Now say for instance you are producing a track and it's in the key of G. You can change this um, and I'll, I'll tell you why it's important. So if I hold down G, uh, it opens up this drop down here. If I click in here, I can change this now to G. Let's say G major. So say your track's in G major, that's fine. Now, on the Apple loops down the bottom, there's a drop down menu and I think by default it's on song key anyway. You can change the key so that when you actually audition the loops, it will play in that relevant key. But if you have it on song key, it will default to this. So if you want to see if a musical element will work, when you click on it, it will now play it in G, whether it's in C or any other key for that matter. So it's quite useful, but it's just, it's just something to bear in mind to have that selected and also make sure that you reflect that in the, the key up here. Um, one other thing i like to just mention as well briefly is the... Um, uh, forums and such like talk about um, established producers and say that oh you know they don't use um, sample CDs blah 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 etc and to be honest it's nonsense uh, here's a factory loop that comes with logic everyone's free to use this vintage funk kit 03 and there you have it that's obviously the beat from Rihanna and Jay-Z umbrella a massive worldwide hit song um, they haven't changed it at all they've just imported the loop that is how it sounds in the song and then they just added some effects so the established producers absolutely do use these loops as well and um, to be honest there's nothing wrong with it <laughs>